Hey guys, Ralph here, and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness here on terrific, terrific Tuesday here in Connecticut. Life's good, man. I was out riding the bike all morning. It is absolutely beautiful. Oh, that reminds me, Tuesday, I got to get the recycling out front. Anyway, you saw the thumbnail. What do I do to spit buzz higher? You're probably not going to like the, the answer because it's not a magic bullet, but it's the absolute truth. Anyway, haven't played a note. Let's see what I got, and we'll get to it. <laughs> Sounds vibrant and full. Let's see what we got. Life is good. Veggie, uh, cucumber, celery, uh, carrot, and pepper. <laughs> Life's great. Anyway, what do we do to spit buzz higher? So simple. So simple. Exactly what you're doing to make your notes go higher on the trumpet. Exact same thing. You didn't want to hear that. You want to hear some, some secret, right? <laughs> not so lucky. Anyway, let me explain. First of all, do not in any way, shape, or form get upset, get frustrated, whatever, if your spit buzzing does not match your trumpet playing. Don't, don't even think about it, okay? There's only two guys that I know of, and I'm sure there's more, but there's only two guys that I know for sure that could spit buzz as high as they could play on the trumpet. And I've told you this before. Jerry, number one, Dave Steinmeier, the great trombone player from Airmen of Note, number two. Both of them incredible. I listened to much, many times, spit buzz, especially Jerry on the phone, and it was so pure so powerful, so penetrating. Literally, I, I, I had to pull the, pull the phone away from my ear. Dad Steinmeier, the same thing. Steinmeier was extraordinary because he sounded like Jerry and he's a trombone player. Just absolutely resonance and vibration in the spit buzz. It was, it was absolutely extraordinary, both of them, okay? Now, here's the deal. The mouthpiece, and I do not, do not, advocate mouthpiece pressure. I am barely holding the horn to play those double C's, okay? Barely holding the horn. As opposed to some of these people you see on, on the internet, I mean, just crushing the thing into their face, getting off the subject, okay? Barely holding the horn, okay? Now, with that said, even though you are using the slightest pressure whatsoever, just that much, just that, is going to hold the chops in place more though so than with when you are spit buzzing, okay? Now, that is one of the reasons why spit buzzing is so great for your chops because you don't have the crutch, for lack of a better term, of the mouthpiece to hold your chops in, okay? Now, Jerry, I heard it many times, could spit buzz triple C's. I mean, it just amazing. Just amazing. My highest note, I told you, my chops have been getting better over the last several months. And every, more and more um, frequently, I can spit buzz G's above high C. Okay? Up to the double C and beyond, I can't do it. Yet. Okay? Um, 
I do have several students that actually sound better spit buzzing than they do on the trumpet. Okay? Now, that means one thing and one thing only. The spit buzz, you're doing something differently when you put the mouthpiece up to the spit buzz when you are when you are playing the trumpet, which is not unusual. Not unusual at all. Okay? But as long as you keep spit buzzing over and over and over, you are going to start playing with the mouth trumpet there more like your spit buzz just because of muscle memory. Okay? Now, one thing I do not advocate, which makes a lot of sense, is to place the spit buzz and place the mouthpiece on the lips while you are spit buzzing. <laughs> For one reason and one reason only. You are taking an immovable object and you are trying to place it on an object that moves. And you just get very, very weird tongue positions, lip positions, and all that sort of stuff because your chops are moving. Okay? I don't advocate it. I know some people do. I don't. Okay? But you should be able to... as quick as that you should be able to just take it and put it right on to the spit buzz now if it doesn't happen all at once it will come that's what the muscle memory is all about now how do we actually go higher relax the corners more compression in the tongue less air an octave rip and I barely moved my, my chops barely took a breath not overblowing, but the tone, power, range, and endurance you get, the tone and the power, that's all residents of the um, residents of the lip. That is what you bring to the table with the spit buzzing. It just makes everything more resonant. How many times have I done it with every single one of my students at some point? And all my students, when they hear this, are going to shake their head. They play a certain lick. If something's wrong, do it again, spit buzz, and do it again, all of a sudden it's fixed. Sometimes it sounds terrific, but they can still be more resonant. So they play this lick, a Clark study, whatever. It doesn't, you know, something from the arcade, it doesn't matter. Just spit buzz it, the actual thing that you just did, then put it the trumpet on, more resonance immediately. It is so important, guys. It is so important, and as, you get better at it. And the more you do it, the more you can relax. The more you relax, the thicker your tongue. The thicker your tongue, the less air you need. The less air you need, the more you can relax. And you're off on this circle that just never stops. The higher you can spit buzz, the higher you can play. Now, once again, for the sake of argument, if my top note is about an E above double C, okay, and my top Spit buzz is E above double C, above high, uh, no, what am I saying? No, E above high C is my top spit buzz, okay? It doesn't have to be that way. The equation could be completely different according to you. But as my spit buzz gets up to the G above double C, my playing is going to get B up G above high C, my spit buzzing G above high C, my playing will improve to the G above double C. That's just the way it works, okay? The more resonance, the more tone, power, range, and endurance that you can get exact same way. Guys, make it an integral part of your practice session, and the benefits are amazing. All right? Eat and drink fruits and vegetables and live your life with true power. Love you all.